Hi, hi everyone. Welcome, welcome back viewers. Welcome first timers. Good to see you here on this channel. Please take a moment to subscribe. And for the first time viewers, please note that when you subscribe and hit that notification bell, any content that arrives, you get it too. Okay, so feel free to share, like, subscribe, and definitely comment. I love to hear from you. Okay, all right, so today I will not be long. I will just mimic a little of what I am experiencing in my journal for today and continuing on our theme of trusting God and showing love and encouraging others. Today, um, you might not think fear would be connected, but most fearful people lay traps. Yeah, fearful people lay traps. And fear is faith contaminated, right? When that faith is contaminated or it's been lack for a better word, dirtied, right, compromised, it definitely becomes fear, right? And fearful people will lay traps for you. So I'm reading Safety 101 from my usual five-minute daily prayer journal from Jocasta Odom. And it states here, the topic is Safety 101. The fear of man lays a sneer, but what, sorry, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. The fear of man lays a sneer, but what, whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. And that's from Proverbs 29, 25 in the New International Version, okay? Yeah, so usually people who fear things, they're not sure about things, they will try to put that sneer, as they say, okay? Put that sneer in the way. Um, so we have to watch out for things like that. But if you are a prayerful person and you trust God, Know that he will keep you safe as you start your day and you start by letting him know that you love him and you're trusting him. You let him know what your fear is too and to relieve that fear, to take it away. Help you to be more faithful than fearful, right? Remove that contaminated or contamination from your faith because then that produces way for the fear to come in and we don't want that we don't want to live our lives in fear a little fear is normal because it gets you prepared to call 911 it gets you prepared to call on God it gets you prepared to do Stuff that you need to do so you don't put yourself in harm's way however you don't want to live constantly in that fear making you anxious and suffer from anxiety and depression and all these different things you do not want that so seek God tell him what your fear may be and to help you by all means to eliminate that fear that, that unnecessary fear because as I said a little bit is okay it keeps you aware it keeps you alert but too much of it every day oh my goodness what am I going to do uh, you know you're on edge you're anxious and that's no good that's not good then they will want to diagnose you with this and that and drugs and this you don't need that you need God so put God first in that too. We don't want to live our lives in fear. And the reflection that goes along with that is fear can cloud our judgment, and it can, and make us feel trapped and scared. But trusting in God 
brings us to safety. Knowing that God is there, near, surrounding you, in front of you, behind you, watching your back, will be that safety guard for you to eliminate those fears, right? And the question that also goes along with this topic and reflection for today is, does God make you feel safe? Do you feel safe with God? What has God placed in your life to ease your fears? What safety net has God put there that you can feel, you can sense, you can see that God has put in your life, right, to ease your fears? Because things will come up. Every day, especially in these days, things come up, they appear. And it's not going to stop just by you saying, oh, fear, go away, or, or avoiding it. So we need to meet it head on. And how to do that is definitely to trust God. Put him first, not behind, but first forefront. Waking up, greeting him, telling him of those woes and those fears or those things that want to definitely cloud your judgment and give you anxiousness and nervousness all day long. That makes you nervous, fearful. You don't want that. So let us trust God. Put him first. Tell him your fears or what might be clouding your judgment. And you will see how God places the safety nets in place to what? Take these or ease those fears you have away. Right? Push them under or away. So definitely trust God today with all of this and know that he has you first place. So just like he chooses you to be first, you should make the priority to choose him and make him first place in your life today. Let him cast those fears away. Put your burdens on him because he's a God that can handle it. He can handle anything you send his way. So trust him. Trust him. And let's cast those fears, those abnormally high, extreme, and anxious, nerve-wrecking fears or type of fears on the back burner. Okay? So stay blessed. Trust God, and as usual, please let me know in the comment area as you answer these questions. Let me know how you're doing, okay? Does God make you feel safe? And what has God placed in your life to ease your fears? All right, take care. God bless and stay safe.